Hello, and welcome back to another episode of CCTV. I'm Gavin Williams, one of your CCTV anchors. And I am Megan Buck, the co-anchor. We will be bringing you this week's information. Les Miserables opened last night. Congrats to everybody involved. Go buy your tickets now. They have shows on Friday, March 9th at 7 p.m., Saturday, March 10th at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m., and finally on March 11th at 1 p.m. Come out and show your support to the cast. Now we'll be turning it over to Nick and Brennan for local sports. Hi, I'm Nick Benson. And I'm Brendan, and Kenzie is on vacation in Florida. We will be bringing you updates for sports information from both the middle school and the high school. The color wrestlers that were on the team that made it to the team state went to the monthly school board meeting and were recognized in front of all of them. All members of the board were really proud to be represented by such great young men. Congratulations and good luck to the 10 middle school wrestlers that made it to the IESA state tournament. That, are, that will take place today and tomorrow. And now we're gonna turn it back over to Megan and Gap. We will now be showing the promo reel for Les Miserables. softball team will kick off their season on Thursday, March 15th, when they go up against Kankakee High School at their place. Good luck to the Kohler track and field team as they take on multiple teams at the Reed Custer Invite on Saturday, March 17th at 10 a.m. A real athlete to look out for is freshman Asa Cooper. Last year he won state for the 110 meter hurdles. Everyone is hoping that he can keep up with the bigger competition this year. Good luck guys and girls. This concludes this week's edition of Polar Sports. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week. And remember, if you ain't hungry, stay out the kitchen. On March 13th, it is the high school spring sports picture day. Everyone be prepared. March 14th is the fifth grade band concert at 7 p.m. On March 15th, it is the first grade band concert at 6.30 p.m. in the Coal City Performing Arts Center. Well, this concludes our broadcast for this week. Thank you for watching and always remember to stay strong, Coal City.